Hello and welcome back to another lecture by Dr. Shabel Saadi, owner and convener of mdct.com.au. This is an update of the chest CT scan protocol for coronavirus COVID-19. So in a recent study done in 2018, they found that 100 kVp protocol was comparable to using 120 kVp. And the diagnostic accuracy was 82 to 96% that were, prov that were reported in previous studies. And using the 100 kVp protocol reduced radiation dose by up to 53% when keeping the MA parameters the same but just changing the kVp protocol. More importantly, optimal window width and window level viewing is at 350 and minus 1000. Really important for all those people around the world, stay at home. Only when you protect yourself, you're really protecting others. So this was another study carried out in 2013 when we're looking at the accuracy of low KVP and low MAS and looking at ground glass opacities. At about 40 MAS to between 150 and 40 MAS, you find that in the central versus peripheral aspects, you still find reasonable amounts of ground glass opacity. However, at lower KVPs, even though you're increasing the skin entrance dose, you're actually seeing greater low contrast resolution. And this is the importance of looking at low contrast resolution in CT when detecting ground glass opacities, such as in the coronavirus. If you have a look here, this is a typical uh, revision of the opacities. Here on the left, you have pneumonia, which is a typical ground glass opacity. Whereas if you look at the lung to the right, you can actually tell that it is actually completely filmed and it starts peripheral, peripherally. In a study uh, in 2020, which was the time course of lung changes on a chest CT, it peaks anywhere between stage two and stage three, which is anywhere between five and 10 days from the onset of the actual symptoms. More importantly, the CT score can range at its highest peak, again, between 8 to 16 days. So in order to look for coronavirus relative to pneumonia or any other ground glass opacity, first of all, in coronavirus, it likes to start peripherally and it works its way into the center. Step three, when you look at it peripherally, you actually see that there's increased amount of inflammation and you almost get the air bronchogram appearance. So it takes over the entire secondary lobule and then it completely starts to fill with this interstitial fluid. Here is another study when you're starting peripherally, always check for subtle clusters as well. They don't just happen as a complete systematic approach because they can deposit anywhere in any segment of the lung. So you have to be very careful and you have to actually have good CT scanner positioning of the patient because if the patient is not in the isocenter of the gantry, as the fan beam rotates and then projects all those information on top of each other, you want accurate alignment over 360 degrees. Step four, more importantly, you start to go central to look at the ground glass opacities. As you can see here with this patient, you both have peripheral and central and you have complete filling and the air bronchogram appearance starts to get significantly reduced. Another part is also to check for if there is any forms of halos. So this is a typical example which was published this year again with a COVID-19 infection where this was a 27 year old female who showed a solid nodule surrounded by a ground glass halo in the posterior right upper lobe. Now, if you look at image B on the right hand side, it was obtained four days later, which showed that there was an increased size in the solid nodule. And there was a development of a small area of peripheral air bronchogram, as you can see with the white arrows. So even though this is something that's been around for the last three months, we need to make sure it's not just about ground glass opacities. We need to ensure does it become solid and further increase this is another example. When you're checking lesions over time, you need to see are they increasing? Are they becoming solid? 
Is there a reduction in the area of inflammation and so forth? But it just doesn't stop there. It gets more complex. Because at the early stages, you will have a high amount of ground glass opacity within the CT scans. And as you go down to the third week of onset, the ground glass opacity starts to reduce within the lung parenchyma. However, reticular, mixed and consolidation begins to increase significantly. So not all patterns are the same with the coronavirus. It also depends on what stage it's at. And interestingly, the imaging patterns begin to change as well. So for example, this is another study taken from the eurorad.org case file series, which showed that on day two after the onset of detection of the coronavirus, you know, the CT was positive. It showed a, a positive ground glass opacity. If you have a look at day 17, definitely increased. And at day 34, it reduced significantly. But more importantly, it gets more complex because people are starting to use PCR tests. If you look at the timeline below, day eight, you had a negative PCR. Then with a CT, you had worsening symptoms. At day 10, the PCR was positive. Day 11, after intervention, the actual CT actually started to get better and it progressed. Then if you looked at day 12, 15, and 16, it was negative and then it went to positive. And then at day 17, you actually saw that the actual volume or the amount of ground glass opacity significantly reduced. Then day 27, the PCR was negative until day 34. So you end up having one week of consecutive PCRs being negative with a clear chest CT. So the most important thing about this entire lecture is please pay attention to radiation dose levels. Not all imaging patterns are the same. Depending on the onset of the coronavirus, the actual patterns will change completely within the lung parenchyma. Thank you so much. And for more learning, please don't forget to visit our website at mdct.com.au. More importantly, please go onto our social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and of course, LinkedIn. Thank you all and look forward to our next show together.